I think the best advice is those, uh, uh, was it, keep it simple, stupid, those four <laughs> words. Um, I, I, you know, I just think, t- um, uh, you know, the idea of the elevator pitch. Uh, if, some, if somebody's pitching an idea, you know, it, in two, if they can't do it in two or three sentences, I think most likely uh, they've lost me. There's lots of people who come up with the same ideas. I mean, there's, a, there's one or two people maybe that come up with something completely unique. Uh, so if you've got lots of people coming up with similar ideas, uh, it's whether the individual can, you know, execute it. And so uh, the number one thing we look for is, you know, has, has this particular individual got the got what it takes to um, to carry out what they're what, what they're promising um, and and that's not easy to judge but you know you you you, you, you know so we, we look for people who are you know who, who are the kinds of people who'll be able to get a great team around them and um, and if they're not that if they've got a great idea and they're not that kind of person they, they need to be the kind of person who will find that kind of person to get a great team around you know you've got to be, you've got to be passionate about what you're trying to achieve and what you're trying to build, um, and um, and you know for you know those first two or three years, uh, it's all all consuming. <laughs> so just you, you, they've got to be willing to to accept to accept that. I'm a, I'm a great believer in in all of us, um, you know, setting objectives um, uh, for ourselves, um, uh, writing everything down. I mean, I uh, I just was. I've been. I was in South Africa yesterday at one of our, um, one of our be- you know beautiful resorts, and you know spent quite a lot of time talking to a particular manager, and uh, and uh, and then the next day, what we talked about didn't actually happen. So I said, you know, you, um, you know, uh, do you write things down? And um, and he didn't necessarily, but he, he very quickly got a <laughs> notebook in his pocket from 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 that day on. And um, but I think. If you don't write things down, you're, you're only going to you, you you might remember something, you might not. And if you're running a company, uh, you know you need to have a notebook in your back pocket and or or a, you know an iPhone or something if you're good, if you're good at that and make sure that you just keep notes on everything, every idea, um, and um, and then follow through. And um, uh, and you can you know the reason I think say Virgin Atlantic has survived for 35 years is that when myself or when the chief executive um, are on board, we'll, you know, we'll go around, we'll meet the staff, we'll meet the passengers, um, uh, we, you know, and, and we'll write things down. And it's this, these little things that make for a perfect airline over an average airline. If, you, you know, if, the, if the staff have got um, you know, brand new red shoes and they're, and they're rubbing their sole and, and, uh, you know, they're gonna, they're, and, and they've got a, a pain in their foot, um, you've got to address it straight away. You can't just, you know, l- leave it to foster. So, um, and um, but if you if you deal if you deal with things fast, you c- um, then you can tick that box and you know and and um, and move on. If if um, mac- microbiotic food um, macrobiotic food does not get you know d- does it does not turn up on the plane, you know it's a real pain for the for the cabin crew member to have to tell somebody that their macrobiotic dish that they'd ordered is not there. Uh, you've got to make sure that never happens ever again, um, and um, and if you if you worry if you get all these little details right, then um, then the cabin crew can smile, they can have a good time, they know that they can rely on you know the company to make sure that they're de- they're, they're delivering the best product, the best quality of service. Um, but there's a lot of lot of people who run their companies who think it's now slightly above them to have to bother to bring out a notebook and scribble things down when they're having meetings. You know that's somebody you know that's what secretaries do or whatever they um, and um, uh, but you know they really everybody should everybody should be doing it and and, and just um, I think that would improve what they do. Mm-hmm.